another crazy day. Crystal Palace have officially sacked Roy Hodgson and he is gone for once and for all. And trust me, he's never coming back. The Palace has sacked Hodgson, but about time. I mean, I look at what's been going on this season, you know, with all the crap we've had to endure under him and that really. 12 losses, this campaign in the Premier League and that. Six wins out of 24 in the league. It's an embarrassment and it is absolute to be honest um, 43 goals conceded just 27 goals scored on that and five points off the bottom three with a relegation battle we're in the thick of it aren't we this season to be honest with you a strong goal difference of minus 16 that goal difference is absolutely hideous to be honest with you <laughs> I won't lie about that to be honest um, should have been out of door two three months ago Roy Hodgson simple as that or else you know none of this really would have you know truly happened to be fair but the fact they've waited till what mid-February to sack him you know it's pretty much unacceptable to be honest it's, it's, it's a joke you know it's just palace for you being real slow and just around too much and now look what's happened to be honest with you no other manager you know would have remained in charge you know for this long especially with the dreadful um, run we've had and the uninspiring football that we've had to witness under Roy Hodgson this season to be honest you know it's just simply not been good enough it ain't the next level one bit it ain't taking us to the next stage it's declining us down further and further down that Premier League table and that to be fair you look in here and that someone suggests we should give Roy a lap of honour which in my opinion you know would be even more of a disaster than our club already is right now to be honest plus he's already had a farewell lap of honour you know which came at the end of the 2021 season and that uh, which was at the end of lockdown which he officially came out saying that he wants to leave the club and that he did leave the club for that you know short period before returning back in 2023 of last year and that to be honest now I want to talk about something else here Roy Hodgson you know um, before he was sacked in that he was scheduled to do a press conference ahead of the Everton away match we've got coming up on Monday night why it's a Monday night I don't know that's the Premier League for you couldn't give about the fans could they um, now the club have come forward surprisingly and announced this and I quote and this was during today and that and I quote from CPFC unfortunately today's press conference will no longer take place as scheduled as Roy Hodgson was taken ill during this morning's training session and that now <laughs> this came out of nowhere to be honest with you really to be fair now most of our fans you know us Palace supporters really had previously heard that Roy was likely to get sacked and that during the course of the day and that at first I thought the club had taken a piss in my opinion I generally thought it was a whole joke and I just couldn't believe my eyes to what I was seeing really but turns out it was the strangest coincidences in football history to be honest with you for him to be taken ill and to be sacked the same day along with us appointing a new manager the same day too I mean it's unbelievable really I've never seen anything like it to be honest you know in football to be fair talk about drama talk about just craziness man during the day I mean it just clearly shows that it goes to show really that Roy was just not fit to do the job he certainly should never have been in charge he clearly was running out of energy to be honest with you it highlights that he should never have been the manager for Crystal Palace in the first place going into this season and that to be honest it's not the first time that he's been taken ill remember in September where he got taken ill before the Aston Villa game but he wasn't very well and he had to miss the match says it already to be honest with you you know it's it's a shame really the whole thing surrounding Roy you know with him getting ill but not only that the fact he's pretty much ruined his legacy at Crystal Palace and lost a lot of respect from the supporters and that you know partially because of some of the comments he's made his actions him blaming the fans and turning on the fans just didn't it just was a uh, once once that started to happen you could clearly see he didn't want to be there he didn't really care anymore and you could see why the fans turned on him including myself you know we had no right to be saying that that's just a sad and unfortunate reality to be fair and that you know now regarding him being taken to hospital and that the club has stated and I quote here following the news that Roy Hodgson has taken ill um, during today's training session we can confirm that he is now stable and is currently undergoing tests in hospital everybody at the club sends their best wishes um, to Roy for a speedy recovery in that as well um, so that's the latest um, on the, you know regarding Roy Hodgson I hope he's responding well I hope he's okay and that I hope and wish him a speedy recovery and you know hopefully you know he enjoys his retirement you know um, that he for once and for all truly fully deserves and that really to be fair he should have retired on the back end of last season man I don't know why he went through the stress and pressure of managing again clearly wasn't fully fit up for it overall and it was just like 
uh, it was really question. It's really questionable, really. You got to question the board why they're bringing in a manager who, yes, he kept us up. I know, but he clearly wasn't fully fit to, you know, take us on um, to that next point during this season. Moving on to something new, which sparks a breath of fresh air within Crystal Palace, and that the most positive news us Palace supporters have pretty much heard all season for a long, long time. To be fair, uh, from the best in the business, Mr. Fabrizio Romano, stating, and I quote, for what he says on Twitter, he says here that Crystal Palace have appointed Oliver Glasnier as new head coach. Roy Hodgson has been fired. He confirmed so. Definitely, he's been sacked with people questioning me saying, has he been sacked? Are you sure? He has been sacked. I mean, it's official. A positive approach revealed um, yesterday night and agreement being sealed now as contracts are being reviewed. He also goes on to state here saying, two-year contracts for Glasner at CPFC. He has been given the green light yesterday and that all went over within the last like 24, 48 hours or so, allegedly, and that. Uh, TPW News were associated a lot within Crystal Palace, talk a lot about Palace and that makes to go and follow them on Twitter as well. They come out saying that Oliver Glasner has signed his contract with Palace today and that um, through to up to around 2026 and that here. Um, so yeah, he'll be joining. Plus, he has got an option for one more year and that on his contract too. So that is some good news. So it could be until 2027. So it's a two to three year contract by the looks of it, potentially even more and that as well. What do we know about Oliver Glasner and that? Um, he's 49 years of age, born in Austria. He's a former defender. He used to play as a defender back in the day and that. Um, his managerial career, you know, his win percentage is 47.66% and that, which is all right, to be fair, a bit 50-50, but, you know, um, he's, he's definitely got the experience. Um, he's got 173 managerial career wins out of his 363 games that he has managed and that, as well as previous job at Frankfurt um, from 2021 to 2023, where he did win the Europa League between that tender when he was there um, back in 2022, you know, which was one of the main highlights of his managerial career, he won it at Frankfurt, obviously, and that what a, you know what what a, what what amazing tournament they had, and that to be fair under him, I can remember watching them. They played some amazing, ambitious, attacking, positive, free flow football, and that to be fair, the guy's a winner, it's a proven winner. He's passionate, um, he's ambitious, you know, he's very enthusiastic, and that's the kind of spirited manager that almost is the 12th man on the pitch. To be fair. Um, also, um, you know, he's definitely that kind of guy to inspire and give them players a bounce, you know, a bounce of confidence, a spark that they truly need that they haven't had for so long and that. So hopefully it works out and um, yeah, hopefully gives the belief and has us Palace fans believing again along with, you know, trying to take us to that next level up here and that not here at all. Do you know what I mean? So it's the kind of manager we need, someone who's just got that passion and drive to take us on, man, you know, to definitely engage and just give us the momentum and that, you know, which is what he pretty much is capable of, to be fair, and that, you know, he's got a massive job on his hands. Um, it's sorting out the defence, you know, improving our forward line, making us a threat from set plays, the other things too, but most importantly, keeping us up, which he's more than capable of, in my opinion. And the fact he's won the Euro belief, for God's sake, he knows what it's going to take to battle, to fight and to survive and to push on and that to be fair and that's that's the kind of manager we need someone who's got a bit of character and charisma about him and he's definitely he definitely he definitely matches that category to be fair i'd say the disappointment you know not regarding the manager with this whole situation and that i want to talk about is that he left frankfurt what nine months ago and that um he, he left the club um on the back end of last season the 22 23 campaign he hasn't managed since and you're telling me that sticking with roy for this campaign you know was a better um, idea and it was a better appointment than um, bringing in um, Glasnir in the summer I mean imagine if he took charge man imagine you know if he took charge of us back in July and got the players he wanted got the players playing the football he wanted and that his style you know organising them you know, starting on a high, us being more prepared and set in for this season and that, do you know what I mean? Rather than us, you know, playing it too safe and taking stupid gambles that just have not paid off and that Parrish has, unfortunately, well, not even unfortunately, it's just, you know, just fell miserably out and he's just completely got on it wrong, really, with the gambles he's made this season because they are sinking us down. They already have, to be fair. You know, I mean, the worst is <laughs> the worst right now at Crystal Palace at this rate and that, to be fair, obviously, apart from the, man the new manager coming in and that but it's just not been good because of stupid gambles and us playing it too safe and not taking as much risk and not you know being as positive as we have been in the past that we you know we should be more positive
people should be more ambitious you know it's been a bit of a disappointing season because of stuff like that to be fair and that um it, it just it overall really feels like another waste of a season again you know and it, it's basically made a whole mockery of this season i mean it looks you know like we should have well we should have and could have gotten him in the summer to be honest with you like especially with him being available then freely and that you know imagine if he would have done that just goes to show you know when you're not ready for a season how bad you know it can fall apart and go downhill which is you know is what has pretty much happened within crystal palace this season it'll be an interesting next few months at palace a roller coaster of emotions you know and um a battle right to the end to be honest with you time to get our shit together really and you know time for the players and the fans to step up and fight for this club so come on you palace man it's going to be an interesting few months that's my instant reaction on the whole situation with our sack and roy and bringing in glasnir and that so you know i'm really looking forward and um yeah it's going to be a very interesting time hopefully we see some good football hopefully we see a change and hopefully the players how are they going to respond is it going to be a good response a bad response are they going to fight are they going to give it a go hopefully they do so hopefully they pick themselves up because this is the time to do it now not in um, April, not in May, because it could well and potentially be too late by then. So it's time to wake up and hopefully we move on and we stay up and we just fight, fight till the end. Come on, you palace.